Okay guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to do a really quick EDC dump. I see my phone, I'm using a front facing camera and I have a five minute limit. So let's see if I can make a really short video. Um, so pretty much, I just got back from my day hike, bright, sunny, so excluding my clothes, um, just my EDC, the stuff I carry on my belt, on my ankles, around my wrists, and in my pockets. So in no particular order, uh, the first thing is, uh, I don't know the name of this. The girlfriend, it's a Citizen Eco Drive, uh, bought this for me. It's a really nice watch. Maybe you guys can tell me the name of it. But I'm not a big watch guy. I like a nice looking watch though. But I'm not. I'm not super picky. I'm not a watch collector. Um, so my watch in my pockets is a uh, my new favorite EDC knife, the Victorinox Farmer. Um, Alox handle, just a small piece of parachute line or some type of like string, yellow string in case I lose it. Um, it's just easier to rip out of my pockets. Um, this wallet here, so I'm not going to open it up um, towards you, but this is by Flagrant, Flagrant Beard. I don't know if you can see that. Flagrant Beard. I believe it's a company. Flagrant Beard, I believe I got this from Optics Planet. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find an actual leather wallet. Um, most of them are knockoff, fake pleather, as they're called. What what really drew me to this wallet is it's a, a billfold or bifold. Um, I'm kind of getting away from just the singular, I don't know. So I carry it in my front pocket, but it's still really thin even though it folds. Uh, it has an ID window. It's made out of actual leather. But the biggest thing is that thread. Now, despite me being colorblind, like, to me that, I don't know, it looks really cool. It kind of sets it off black and blue. Or purple. I don't know. Like I said, I'm colorblind. So, that wallet, it's been really uh, durable. Uh, upside, Leatherman Wave, my most, my oldest, most, uh, time tested it always finds a place into my pocket it's kind of heavy and now I'm kind of getting into Swiss Army knives I'm thinking about maybe going away from the full-size multi-tool I've considered the Leatherman juice which is a slightly um, smaller uh, one just to have the pliers but you leave it in the comments down below uh, you guys might know what that is uh, per YouTube policy I can't speak on that um, I'm kidding, but uh, um, so the next thing is that Surefire EDC EDC L1 slash T uh, with a theorem switchback, and um, this is one of the only flashlights that since the day I bought it, it has not left my pocket. That says a lot about an EDC flashlight. I've gotten flashlights in the past that are so extraneous, so bulky, so wonky that just don't carry properly that I'll carry them for a week because of the new flashlight phase and then they get thrown in the junk drawer or thrown in some day pack or go bag or something like that. I've been carrying my keys in my back pocket um, because normally I'm either driving and if I'm not driving I'm walking so I throw them in my back pocket. Um, I'll be honest this is the only thing that I threw in before the video because I was sitting down and normally when I get home I hang these because um, it's kind of annoying to sit on so um, but I have this table here which is kind of cool um, I'm kind of nervous though there's a twist care uh, twisty thing here so it, it loosens from time to time maybe I'll loctite it but it's a piece of cable it's like called aircraft cable and it's like a key ring but it's flexible and don't ask me the benefits I just think it's kind of cool um, so I have my truck keys, my, my key fob, uh, gym key, house key, and mailbox key. So that's like all my keys. So if I wanted to carry just my keys, it would be pretty low profile. Um, but I also carry a Leatherman Squirt and a Phoenix or a Phoenix uh, E01 or E01. And I'm not... This is just because I had it laying around. It's a very small task light. And 
you know, I thought about maybe throwing something slightly smaller, but you know, it's you know, kind of why not? Um, but that's my keys. It's a little bulky, and I never thought I'd be the guy to have a huge keychain, but you know, having those two extra tools on there, um, program compliance. Whenever I'm in my vehicle, I know for sure I'll have at least those two tools. Um, so. One thing I had on, this isn't EDC, well it's EDC for today, I don't always carry it, but I sometimes when I'm out hiking, camping, cross country skiing, snowshoeing, uh, whatever, um, I'll carry a small knife, and today it's called the Bark River, it's a Bark River knife, and the reason, well, it's not a review on this knife, I think it just looks crazy, and I didn't, I don't like it as much as I thought I would, it was A2 steel. It's just a funky design. A karambit or a kar yeah, karambit, I think is it's called. So it could be used uh, defensively, but most likely not. But the biggest thing that sets it off, I just like those orange handles. They just kind of so, and I just have that in a factory um, sheath. And what's cool about the sheath is its magnetic retention but you can put it in either way, which is kind of cool. And then um, I'll, just, I'll take the holster off. Now, I can't tell you exactly what this is per YouTube, <clears throat> but I'm also carrying this tool on me. It's a black plastic, um, plastic gun. Sweet, awesome. And I understand it's not a full size gun. I'm not, I'm not operator enough to rock one of those, but it's a gun constant companion that I can carry on me every day. It doesn't get in the way. Um, I carry one spare mag, so I have about 17 rounds, I believe. You know, if that can't get me out of a tricky situation, you know, I probably shouldn't be in that situation to begin with where I should have already beat feet and took off in the other direction, been calling the police. And that, I don't know, that's how I think of the system. The last thing, and I've already reviewed this, so I won't go in depth, but it's this, um, I think it's pretty cool. It's an ankle holster, and it's a, it's a heavy bleeding uh, trauma kit. So it has, I'm not going to take it out. I've already done a review. It has gloves, uh, SOFT t tourniquet, a glow stick, compression, bandage, uh, gauze, and chest seals in the back, and then just some cool uh, little Velcro stickers. Hopefully you guys like that. I don't like doing EDC videos all the time, but I find them fun every now and again. So, uh, Like always, go back to my homepage, watch some of my current videos. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.